<laughs> Charged. Oh. All right, I've got this. I've got this. All right, okay. <laughs> oh, see, you started this. <laughs> Welcome to our lecture online. <laughs> Well, like turn line, the second most important rule with exponents is the one where we divide one by the other. But in other words, we have x to the n divided by x to the m. So the rule says that if the bases are the same and they are divided, then you subtract the exponents. Again, it's either multiplied or divided, not added or subtracted. So we have two numbers raised to exponent and they're divided, then you subtract the exponents. And again, we need to be careful not to do something like this. We have x to the n minus x to the m that is not equal to x to the n minus m. Be careful because there's a, there is a subtraction there, not a division. Or if we have x to the n divided by y to the m, again, you cannot say that this is x over y to the n minus m because the bases are not the same. Those are the two requirements. The bases must be the same and one must be divided by the other. If those two rules are, are adhered to, then we can do things such as this. y to the 8 divided by y to the 5th. The bases are the same. We're dividing. We simply subtract the exponents. 8 minus 5 is y to the 3rd. Or we have 2 to the 4 divided by 2 to the 1st power. That is equal to 2 to the 4 minus 1, 2 to the 3rd power, or 8. And this reminds me of something. What if we had something that looks like this? 2 to the 4th power divided by 2. Now, even though we did not write the exponent to the first power, when you just write a number without an exponent, that implies the exponent is there. The exponent simply is equal to 1. So this is indeed equal to 2 to the 4th divided by 2 to the first power. And so this is 2 to the 4 minus 1, just like what we saw over there. Again, either you see it like this, or more typically, you will see this without the exponent to the first power, because we normally don't write that, in the same sense that we write x. We don't write 1x, we write x. This is the same as simply writing x without the one in front. It is simply understood to be there. And then finally, what happens when we have an exponent in the denominator which is bigger than the exponent in the numerator? Well, the rule is still the same. The bases are the same. You're dividing, so you write this is equal to 5 to the 2 minus 5, which means this is equal to 5 to the minus 3. And then if you remember in the summary, one of the rules said that if you have a negative exponent, that becomes a positive exponent when you take that number and write it in the denominator instead of the numerator. So this can be written as 1 over 5 cubed, which of course, if you want to simplify that, that's 1 over 125. So notice... The rule is still the same, you end up with a negative exponent, then you can write it like a positive exponent like this, and we'll explain that rule in more detail in a later video. And then here's another example, what if you have a negative number in the denominator, then you don't care, you do the rule exactly the same, you subtract the negative number, which is the same as adding the number, and so we get 3 minus and minus 2 is 5, and 4 to the 5th power is 1024. So those are all the various types of things you could run into, when you apply the straightforward rule right here, when you divide two numbers, the bases are the same, they both have exponents, then you get to subtract the exponents. And that is rule number two. <laughs>